Good morning, people of God and the people that God is calling to be a person of God. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I wanted to just encourage you to come and join us tonight as I release a word about the power of God, that God's love is an all-consuming fire. But what does that look like? What does it look like to be baptized with fire and spirit? And that's what Jesus came to do. And what does it look like to live a life by faith so that that faith can be accredited to your righteousness, such as it was for Abraham, who was a friend of God? Let me just give you a really quick verse here in Romans chapter 4, verse... 17. It says, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him who he believed, God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they do. So perhaps you've heard people use this scripture to um, give them a right to say something is going to be because they said it. It doesn't work like that. It is the power of God working in you that can speak into that. And the power of God that works in you is done by his will, not your own will. So you cannot will something into existence and call it in as if it's here when God hasn't told you to do that. If he gives you a prophetic word, if he guarantees you in your spirit and you can you can um, bind it to the word of God, it, the word of God does not contradict it, but it confirms it. If that is what you can do, then you can speak it into existence continuously until it manifests. That's called prayer. Amen. But you cannot get a great idea in your head and think that you can speak it out or you can mentally cause it to manifest. It is the power of God working in you and through you to manifest his will, not yours. So I want to encourage you as God is calling us all up to a higher level. He's calling us up to be walking by faith, not by sight. We cannot do that and live in the power that of God and co-labor with him. I say co-labor, not co-create. I say co-labor because we are laboring with him. We are brought into this earth to be a blessing to other people. And as we do that, we bless God. But we, again, don't do any of it in our own will. And so I want to encourage you as the church is being called to raise up, to grow up, to mature, to get off the milk and get off the steak, to get out of your will and to get into God's will. It is it is a time of uh, revival. It is really, really happening in the earth. Things are manifesting. I had forgot to mention this the other day, but Tuesday night, we had a powerful move of God. We had experienced healings and deliverances. and, and uh, But one of the other things that it was experienced by two people in the back of the church was the wind of God and almost as if the building was shaking. And the two people who shared that information with me are very sound, solid um not dramatic type of people. So I knew that it was real and we could feel the presence of God come down to where you can't do much but weep and just sit there and allow Holy Spirit to do whatever he's doing. See, we think we have to see this great and glorious thing happen in our church gatherings. And that's great. I want that like everybody else. We want to see healings and miracles and signs and wonders, but it's not always like that. God has personality and sometimes he just wants to linger with us. Sometimes he just wants to be in our presence and bring a holy hush to our atmosphere. So let's get God out of the box and let's get out of the box of, um, of immaturity for ourselves as well. And let's start to grow up. Let's get off the milk and onto the meat and believe for great things. Let's get out of religion and into relationship and let's watch what God's going to do to bring in this final great and glorious harvest. God bless you on your Jesus journey. Hope to see you tonight at 630.